back, guys. I got a new planner. It's the same as the old one, but it's prettier. Or they're just as pretty. I'm just, I was looking for something for the fall. I was, okay, I was inspired by an Instagram post from Carrie Harling where she had like her autumn set up. And I was like, oh, oh, it's so pretty and brown. So I just sort of did a little bit of searching and, you know, just to kind of see what was out there as far as deals. And there was a half price Philofax Malden pocket in the color ochre on, file, on Facebook Marketplace. And so I bought it. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I'm going to do a flip through for September 2019. And yeah, like I said, it's a Malden. It's the same as the one I had previously, which is the stone color. Right here, I still have it. I love it. And I will go back to it when the weather calls for it. But for right now, I'm really looking forward to the fall. Um, I'm coming down with a cold and my nails are disgusting. So sorry about that. But let's take a look at what we've got. Um, the pocket setup is pretty much the same. So I've got my driver's license and primary credit card in the front pocket. Second pocket has these page flags and the little card that I have some washi wrapped around. I use this for cutting washi. And then in the back, I've got a couple of gift cards, Target and Starbucks. Um, the front has just some change. Then let's see in the back. This guy um, came from the Winnie the Pooh dividers that I drew when I did a whole video when I made these. Um, I don't really use those dividers because it was a mess. Um, they, they ended up too small. I had to photocopy them. And anyway, but I like this little um, die cut guy. You can't see, but Winnie the Pooh is under there <laughs> holding onto the balloon. But I'm just using this for some washes that I wanted to hang on to. Um, then this is some notes about my morning routine, possibly they're just there. Um, and then the back pocket, um, has stickers. These are all from twin 16, my favorite sticker shop lately. I got a bunch of these recently and I just hang on to them so that they're handy and I can do a little bit of decorative planning on the go. And then I also have a little bit of cash and one, uh, personal check in there for emergencies or whatever. Um, since this is a used planner, the pen loop is already in use by the previous owner. So it's a little bit stretched out and I was able to fit my friction color in here. So I've got this, um, it wedges right there and it does stick out the top a bit, but not any more than the G2, I guess. So that's good. Um, so that's like for my tracker that you'll see in like decorative stuff. Um, and then this, I'm just using a Pilot G2. I keep it in the front rings and then I have to pull it up whenever I want to flip through. So these dividers I made just using like uh, tissue paper for wrapping gifts. You know, they have like that tissue paper that's got glitter embedded in it. And I literally just stuck it in the sheet protector, ran it through the, um, I mean, not, you know, the laminate, laminate paper, ran it through the laminator. And then I cut it, like I cut it afterwards and it has been holding up fine. Um, and I made little dividers out of it and you'll see, I um, previously the dividers I had made were a quarter inch tabs, but these are only an eighth of an inch so that it wouldn't keep bumping into the pen and stuff. And it's working out fine. So uh, since it's kind of see-through, I've got some fun decorative stuff. So this little sticker is from the Little Red House. Um, I bought this at Comic-Con, she was there, but she does have an Etsy shop as well. A website, I think, I like a Shopify website. Um, and so you can check her out. That's where I got that little journal that I was keeping back here. I went ahead and pulled that out and it's just on my nightstand because I was really only using it like right before bed anyway. So this is just on some acetate from Michaels to be pretty and decorative. Then we've got my, um, what's it called? <laughs> Next action items list or context list. Uh, I did the whole monthly plan with me. You'll see up in the corner, um, de decorated these peanuts planner coat inserts for that. So here's my tracker. I've been doing okay. And again, this is the pen that I use there. Then this month layout is actually my, um, Instagram and content calendar. I have here marked like when my videos are coming out. Um, and then I, can sort of plan out what I want to post on Instagram because I'm trying to post on Instagram once a day, um, at least this month to get back into the habit of doing it more, re uh, more frequently, more regularly, and it's working. And then this, uh, is just like one line per day, which is just for like uh, upcoming events and to do's my bra tracker. I do have a video about that as well. My NFP chart, 
waiting on and some day maybe lists. And then that's the front section. I moved some stuff around in here. Um, so previously I had my future lock here, but that's in the back now. We'll get there. This first section has my Mun Weekly from my Summer Touch. So let's see, I have the front half folded and the second half folded here because we are on week two. Um, so let's see, you can see what the first week looked like. Um, since these are all folded up, you can kind of see here's the weekly stuff. And then I did some dailies here and here. Those end up on the back of the next week. I haven't used any dailies yet. I tend to kind of find that I need a daily later in the week, Thursday, Friday, maybe, and then like a one for the weekend. Um, before that, I feel like I do okay with just working off the weekly. I like how much space these give you. So these are from my summer touch. And then so I keep it folded to the current week. Then the next section is like projects and stuff like that. So this picture is from December. She looks so tiny, but it's already on the fun acetate and you can see through, so that works. This is just a straight up checklist of things in the house that need to be cleaned, because I'm trying to be better about that. <laughs> this uh, I need to work on still. This is a diagram, I guess, of our backyard. Um, we put the grass in this summer, and I'm hoping that by next spring we can have this section a little bit worked on, because we want to plant some like vegetables maybe. Um, so I need to sort of work on the layout and figure out, you know, how much space, how many, you know, supplies we need and all of that for, for remodeling that area, which is currently just dirt and weeds. Uh, this is a list of things to organize and declutter, um, a list that I'm working on of um, things that need child locks. This is just some things that I need to go buy uh, at stores, and so I put it in here. This was some notes I took about uh, cleaning the robot vacuum that we got, and yeah, it's coming up on a month since we've had it, so I'm supposed to like clean like the um, the sensors and stuff once a month. So I'm keeping that in, this in here as a reminder until then, and then maybe I won't need it anymore because it's all you'll see on my um at the, here before I forget. It's on this spread here. Um, clean vacuum, clean brush, all of that. Um, so on the back of that is a little sticky note that has uh, some books that I'd like to read, uh, just so I don't forget them. It's opposite here, this list of library books um, that is almost full. It's actually the day I'm filming this, I need to renew and or return some of these. Um, and then I need to get a new list in here because we're almost full. And then this is some notes for a mobile game I play, gift ideas, and my personal wish list, and then a list of things I wanted to watch. I've been kind of working through this because I just was sick of having so many things on this list, so I've been watching them. I'm currently watching The Wire right now. Never watched it before. Um, this is new. I posted about this on my Instagram last weekend. Um, basically, I couldn't decide what to make for dinner, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to write out everything that I know how to make and know that we like frequently. Um, and so I numbered them so that I could like use a random number. And then I realized that I had 20 lines. So I actually pulled out like a physical D20 and I rolled it and decided what we were having for dinner every night this week. And it just made things so much easier. <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing it this way for a little while. Obviously I have veto power, but just taking away that decision helps. Um, this next section is my YouTube stuff. So I still have this little picture from, hmm, or sticker. I'm trying to remember now. I always forget what it's called. The shop. If I remember it, um, I might try to link it below. If I forget, uh, remind me in the comments if you care. This is just a list so I don't forget um, where to post things. And then this is the 52 Weeks uh, printable from Peanuts Planner Co., which is I what I use for my weekly videos. So I have one I don't know if you've noticed, but green is for my Thursday videos and teal is for Sunday. It's the same for my thumbnails. Um, so this is, uh, I, I started putting the date finally, and this is just where I keep track of what um, my videos are going to be for the month. And once a month or so, I go through and plan it out in advance so that I don't have to worry about it each week as it comes up. So there's a little bit of a preview for you. Nothing too much of a spoiler there. Um, and then I've sort of 
uh, clip some stuff together so that I don't show you stuff I don't want to show you. But these are also from Twin 16, these little icon stickers. I've got the little cameras, microphones for, you know, different steps along the process of creating a video. And then this spread is for um, video ideas, which is why I didn't want to show you because like spoilers, but you know, if you have video requests, you can always comment those below. Um, so this is, yeah, video ideas. <clears throat> and then this is a list of things. I finally just put together a list of things that I need to write. Cause like the writing of like scripts and blog posts and stuff is the part that I always uh, procrastinate on. So I'm trying to make a point of like sitting down once a week at least and just writing stuff. And so that list is comes out and I write one or two things from that list and then that's okay that I'm making progress. This little printable that I made myself, I've shown before, it's like a half page. I use this for video uh, prep. I like that it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. Um, and I just have you know one of these and I can just re literally rip it out and throw it away when I don't need it anymore. Um, it's got like my checklist of things I need to do and I just take notes about what I'm gonna talk about uh, on any given video. And then there's some other like video production, YouTube, Instagram, whatever kind of stuff that I, I don't really wanna show you. That's and a couple spreads here. And then this next section is my Hogwarts stuff. It's been its own section this whole time. So I don't want to combine it with my normal um, projects. So here it is. This is the year long calendar for what year we're in. And then my checklist of like every week, what needs to get done for my two different jobs. Uh, this, these are all the professors at WizU. I've done all this before. Um, this is just some notes of ideas and then the last no second to last section here I called this a brain dump per previously but I wasn't really like sitting down and dumping so I just figured I'd call it a landing pad it's basically like if I need space to write a note about something maybe I'm on the phone and I need to write down like a confirmation code or we're going somewhere this weekend and I want to write down the address I only need it for that one day and I don't really have a lot of room for it on my weekly I'll just put it here um, and then once this is full, I get a new sheet out. So that's what I'm calling it now. These are just some spare stickies. I love these. I got these post-it notes from the 99 cent store and they fit perfectly. <laughs> They're my favorite. And this is my future log um, from Peanuts Planner Co. It's the 2019 yearly bundle. And then this guy f comes from the undated yearly bundle. And I just have it as my future log for next year. and after that. Then this one comes from the undated bundle as well. It's birthdays and anniversaries. And then this is the reoccurring task that I showed you already. Um, I kind of gray out the square once things get accomplished, like at the end of the month. And then I actually put these on this spread. I, I move things from here to here with my monthly setup every month. But you know, I don't want to forget like when to change the oil in the car, you know, things that need to get done once a month, every three months, all of that. Those go on here. Then the very last section is just spare paper. I've got let's see, some grid paper. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. These are these colorful ones and these massive to-do lists I don't use are from um, Filofax. They came with my stone. So did these, the jot pads, and then a couple stickers that are, these are from Plan With Anna. I use up most of them. I kind of want to use them all up and then decide if I want to get more. And then these are a couple of spare ones. I pulled off like the, the top part. So it's just the backing um, to kind of store. These are more um, Twin 16 weather icons. Um, so I didn't want to carry the whole sheet with me. Like I don't need a whole sheet of suns, but I wanted like one or two handy. And then these are, where are these even from? You know, I think I got these from like AliExpress or something. Then in the back, uh, a couple more credit cards, my library card. And then the very last pocket has some spare sticker samplers. And that is everything. So I made um, a bonus flip through this month. If you wanted to watch all of that, that's just, um, it's completely silent, like a ASMR flip through. I did, I got permission from, uh, I think, Okay, I want to say Marushka is how she pronounces it. My Summer Touch, her YouTube channel. She did an ASMR flip through a few months ago. I asked her for permission to copy her idea. She said it was okay. So 
check her out, check that video out if you're interested. And um, I will see you in Sunday's video where I talk about friction ink and how, uh, how it reacts to summer heat. So that's going to be interesting. I haven't filmed it yet. So you and me will both be surprised by the results. All right. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.